Hello students, how are you today? Today we're going to study nationalities and languages. But first, we're going to study sentence structure. Now, before we saw this sentence, you are young. You are young. And these are the parts. Subject, verb, and complement. And remember, you are young. Subject, verb, complement. Because you young. You are young. Now, I want to talk about another kind of sentence structure, the similar. We speak English. We speak English. Now, subject, verb. This is an object. So we, subject, speak, verb, English, object. In this sentence, you are young, it's the same. You are young. Here, it's different. We speak English. Now, here's another sentence for an example. Molly likes you. Subject, verb, object. Molly likes you. Now, let's talk more about pronouns. These are three of the pronouns. So listen to the sounds. We have possessive, subject, and object. My, I, me. Your, you, you. His, he, him. Her, she, her. It's, it, it. Our, we, us. Your, you, you. Their, they, them. Okay? Now, let's look at some more sentences. And notice that in English, let me show you the sentences first. Okay, first sentence. I see you. I see you. Notice that in English, there is always, always a subject and a verb. Always, 100%. Okay? And the verb comes after the subject. Subject, verb. Okay? You see me. You see me. Subject, verb, object. And of course, this is an object. Okay, another example. We, we, see them. We see them. Subject, verb, object. And the last example, they see us. They see us. Subject, verb, object. Okay, now remember, in sentence structure, subject, verb, object, or complement. Okay, so subject, verb, I 
C, U, this is the object, or subject, verb, complement, I am tall. Okay? Subject, verb, object, or complement. Now, let's practice. Let me make some room here. And we'll put some sentences on the board for our assistants to help with. Now, here we go. Here's a sentence. Lisa speaks German. Lisa speaks German. Okay, Lisa, what is the subject? Lisa. Good. Isabel, what's the verb? Speaks. And Ali, what is this? It is the object. Good. Okay, here's another sentence. Isabel doesn't speak German. Okay, here we go. Isabel, what is the subject? Isabel. Isabel. <laughs> okay. Ali, what's the verb? Doesn't speak. Yes. This is the verb. Two words. And Lisa, what is German? The object. Yes, good. Okay, one more. We speak French. Okay, Ali, you tell me the parts of the sentence. We is the subject. Speak is the verb. French is the object. Yes. Very good. Now, Lisa, here's another one. They is the subject. Are is the verb. And quite is the complement. Yes, good girl. Okay, here's another one. Isabel. This is funny. Okay. This is the subject. Is is the verb. Funny is the complement. Yeah, good. Great. Okay, now a little bit more practice. Get three more sentences and then you can tell me what they are. Okay, here's one. And here's the third one. Okay, Lisa, you do number one. We is the subject. C is the verb. Um, them is the object. Yes, good. Okay. Now, Ali. You is the subject. R is the verb. Nice is the object. No, the complement. Yes, good. Okay. All right, Isabel. They is the subject. C is the verb. And me is the object. Yes, very good. Okay, now, do you understand sentence structure? Yes, yes we, we do. do. Okay, very good. Look and listen. Now it's time to look and listen. Sentence structure is easy. The subject is sentence. The verb is is. The complement is easy. Ali speaks English. The subject is Ali. The verb is speaks. The object is English. Read and repeat.
nationalities and languages. Now, here is more information about we saw the country, we saw the language, now nationality. So, the US, American, English is the language. England, English, and English. Canada, Canadian, and English and French. Germany, German, German. France, French, French. Turkey, Turkish, Turkish. Japan, Japanese, Japanese. And China, Chinese, Chinese. Easy. Now, I want to write some sentences and answers. So you can have some more conversation. Now, here's the question and how you say it. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Are you Canadian? Are you Canadian? Yes, I am. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Do you speak French? Yes, I do. Okay? Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Are you Canadian? Yes, I am. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Do you speak French? Yes, I do. Okay, now let me ask you some questions. Lisa, are you from Germany? Yes, I am. Are you German? Yes, I am. Do you speak German? Yes, I do. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Good. Isabel, are you from France? Yes, I am. Do you speak French? Yes, I do. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Ali, are you from France? No, I'm not. I'm from Turkey. Ah, are you Turkish? Yes, I am. Do you speak Turkish? Yes, I do. Do you speak French? No, I don't. Do you all speak English? Yes, yes we, do. we do. Okay, now let's find out about other people. Ali, who is this? That's Madonna. Where is she from? She's from the US. Does she speak Turkish? No, she doesn't. She speaks English. Mm. Isabel. Who are they? They are Bill and Hillary Clinton. Are they American? Yes, they are. Do they speak French? No, they don't. They speak English. Mm -hmm. Lisa, who is this? That is Pele. Where is he from? He is from Brazil. Does he speak English? No, he doesn't. He speaks Portuguese. He speaks Portuguese. Oh, Portuguese. Mm hmm Good. Ali, who are they? They are Lisa and Mari. Are they American? No, they aren't. Lisa is German. Mari is French. Mm hmm Do they speak English? Yes, they do. Very good. Do you speak English? I yes, I do. Does Isabel speak French? 
Yes, she does. Is she French? Is she French? Yes, she is. Do we speak Chinese? No, we don't. Are you Chinese? No, we aren't. Do they speak Arabic? Yes, they do. Are they from Saudi Arabia? Yes, they are. Read and repeat. Vocabulary. Okay, now let's learn some more vocabulary and practice. Here is a question Do you live? Where do you live? Here are some answers. I live in Turkey. Where do you live? I live in Turkey. Or, I live in Istanbul. Where do you live? I live in Istanbul. Or, I live on Istiklal Jadisi. Where do you live? I live in Turkey. Where do you live? I live in Istanbul. Where do you live? I live on Istiklal Jadisi. Notice that we live in a country, in a city, on a street. Country, city, street. In a country, in a city, on a street. Okay, now let's practice. Lisa, where do you live? I want you to give three answers. I live in Germany. I live in Hamburg. I live on Wasserstrasse. Okay. Lisa, ask Isabel. Isabel, where do you live? I live in France. I live in Paris. I live in Rue de Pala. Okay, you live on Rue de Pala. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, ask Ali. Ali, where do you live? I live in Turkey. I live in Istanbul. I live on Baghdad Caddesi. Okay, ask me. Teacher, where do you live? I live in Turkey. I live in Istanbul. I live on Galip Dede Sokak. Now, Ali, where does Tarkan live? He lives in Turkey. He lives in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. Isabel, where does Gerard Depardieu live? He lives in France. He lives in Paris. Lisa, where do Bill and Hillary Clinton live? They live in the U.S. They live in New York. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you can make the sentences shorter. Look at this. Now, you can say, I, where do you live? I live in Istanbul, Turkey. I live in Istanbul, Turkey. You live in Hamburg, Germany. 
And he lives in Paris, France. Where do you live? I live in Istanbul, Turkey. You have to have a comma here, though. Okay, another example. We live on Badat Jadasi in Istanbul, Turkey. Now this one's a little bit different because you have on the street in Istanbul, Turkey. All right? One more example. They live on Madison Avenue in New York, the USA. Okay? Now, again, they live on Madison Avenue in New York. So, where do you live? We live on Badat Jadasi in Istanbul, Turkey. Where do they live? They live on Madison Avenue in New York, the U.S. Okay? Now, let's ask questions again. But I want you to make them shorter. So, Ali, where do you live? I live on Bağdat Caddesi in Istanbul, Turkey. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lisa, where do you live? I live on Besserstrasse in Hamburg, Germany. Mm -hmm. Isabel, where do you live? I live on Redapala in Paris, France. Great. Okay, now let's learn some new vocabulary. We'll take these away. Okay, here we go. Now, first is understand. 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 I understand. Ah, I understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. And the question. Do you understand? Do you understand? I understand. I don't understand. Okay? Isabel, if I talk really like this, do you understand? I don't understand. Do you understand now? Yes, I do. Lisa, hablas espanol? I don't understand. Of course, that was Spanish. Ha ha ha. Uh, Ali, do you understand? Yes, I do. I understand. Very good. Okay, now here's another one. This one is no. No. Okay, this is no sound. No k, just no. Okay? So, I know. I know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay? So, I know. I don't know. So, let me ask again. Ali, where does Eminem live? I don't know. Lisa, do you know? No, I don't know. Oh, I know. He lives in the U.S. Yes, that's right. Isabel, where do Queen Elizabeth and Prince Charles live? Hmm, I know. They live in the U.K. Yes. Okay, now, here are a few more words that we use in a class. Here we go. We ask a question. We ask a question or we ask 
Questions? This is one, a question, and ask questions. So answer a question, answer questions. One, many, and give an answer. Give answers. Okay? So this is what we hear in class. Ask a question, ask questions. Answer a question, answer questions. Give an answer, give answers. Okay, now let's add some information. Here we go. We can say a lot of, with an S, for example, so this is a 10 plus, a lot of, or a few, two or three, okay? A lot of questions, a few questions, okay? Now, let's practice some more. Lisa, do I ask a lot of questions? Yes, you do. Isabel, do you answer a lot of questions? Yes, I do. I answer a lot of questions. Ali, do you ask a lot of questions? Mm, I ask a few questions. Okay. Now, Ali, ask Lisa a question. Okay. Lisa, do you know Gerhard Schroeder? No, I don't. Lisa, ask Isabel a question. Isabel, do you know Gerard Depardieu? No, I don't. I just know him in his films. And Isabel, ask Ali. Ali, do you know Tarkan? I know his video clips. Now, here's one more. We'll take this away. The magic of technology. And one more verb, like. I like Tarkan. I like Tarkan. I don't like Tarkan. I don't like Tarkan. And then the question, do you like Tarkan? Okay, again, I like Tarkan. I don't like Tarkan. Do you like Tarkan? Now, Isabel, do you like George Clooney? Oh, yes. I like him a lot. Do you like his films? Yeah, I like them a lot. Ali, do you like Fatih Terim? Yes, I do. Do you like the Galatasaray football players? Yes, I do. I like them a lot. Okay, now you ask Lisa a question. Lisa, do you like me? Mm. Yes, Ali, I like you. Lisa, ask Isabel a question. Isabel, do you like pizza? Oh yes, I like it a lot. Lisa, does Isabel like pizza? Yes, she does. Do you like pizza? Yes, I do. Do you too like pizza? Yes, yes we, we do. do. Ali, does Lisa like you? Yes, she does. Do I like you? Mm, yes, you do. Yes, that's right. Do we like you? Yes, you do. Okay, very good. Look and listen. Now it's time to look and listen. We live on Madison Avenue in New York. I like New York. I don't understand. You ask a lot of questions. He gives a few answers. We know this. Read and repeat.
review. Now, I want you to tell me about yourself. You have more information now. Lisa? Okay. I'm from Hamburg, Germany. I live on Besserstrasse. I am 27 years old. I speak German. I speak English. I like pizza. Mm -hmm. Okay. Isabel? I am from Paris, France. I'm 23 years old. I have long and straight hair. I speak French. I'm quiet. I like George Colony. And Ali. I'm Ali Aksoy. I am from Istanbul, Turkey. I am Turkish. I speak Turkish. I am outgoing. I have short brown hair. I don't have a mustache. I like football. Great. Now, listen and write. Listen and write. Let's do our dictation. Listen and write these words. Number one, American. Number two, Germany. Number three, like. Number four, understand. Number five, Turkish. Now check your work. Number one, American. Number two, Germany. Number three, like. Number four, understand. Number five, Turkish. Now, listen and write these sentences. Number one, Ali is from Turkey. Number two, he speaks Turkish. Number three, he is 21 years old. Four, we speak English. Five, they don't speak French. Now, check your work. Number one, Ali is from Turkey. Number two, he speaks Turkish. Number three, he is 21 years old. Number four, we speak English. Number five, they don't speak French. Now, read this story and answer the questions. Read and answer. Barbara is from Australia. She is Australian. She lives in Sydney. She is 25 years old. She is tall and good looking. She has short brown hair. She speaks English. She doesn't speak Chinese. Barbara likes the cinema. She likes Keanu Reeves. Now, answer the questions. Number one, where is Barbara from? Number two, how old is she? Number three, is she tall? Number four, does she speak Chinese? Number five, does Barbara like Keanu Reeves? Now, check your work. Number one, where is Barbara from? She's from Australia. Number two, how old is she? She's 25 years old. 
Number three, is she tall? Yes, she is. Number four, does she speak Chinese? No, she doesn't. Number five, does Barbara like Keanu Reeves? Yes, she does. Very good. We will see you next time. Practicing English. I want to go to Germany someday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm reading about France at the moment, and I want to talk to your cousin Kelly about France.、Uh, I want, I really want to go to France. I want to speak a second language. My cousin Kelly is learning a lot about France. She speaks French all the time. Angie, you're right. Your cousin is lucky to go to France. Do your aunt and uncle also speak French? Yes, Kelly's parents were studying together at the same university in Paris. Years ago. Well, my uncle speaks French too. It's a beautiful language. His first language is Greek, but he loves to speak French too. My friend Paulo was born in Germany. She speaks a lot of German, and her brother speaks German too. Sam, this looks like a good book you found on France. In fact, is this my book? I think I have the same one. Angie, are you reading about France too? Yes, I am. Maybe we'll all go to France one day. <laughs> okay, let's read more about France. Hey, I want to talk about the movie we saw last night. I think it was a great movie. I like watching movies from other countries. I enjoy hearing other languages. I like hearing French. Alexa, your uncle is right. French is very beautiful. Yes, I think the French countryside was also very pretty. By the way, where do people speak French in other parts of the world? Well, French is spoken in parts of Canada,、uh, Quebec, I think. Uh, yes, that's true. It is Quebec. People speak French in some islands in the Caribbean, also. Yes, and people speak French in some parts of Southeast Asia. Do you know where people speak Spanish? That's easy. Uh, besides Spain, Sam. Oh. We know people in most of South America speak Spanish, but in Brazil they speak Portuguese. Right, you remember. But do you know that Spanish is the second most spoken language in America? That is surprising. Yes, but it's true. People with Spanish origins are the largest minority group in the U.S. So Spanish is like our second language in our own country, America. Well, kind of. I think it's important to know about languages and how people use them. I think that Alexia is right about Spanish in America. I know that I hear Spanish on TV and all over the city when I go to New York. Hey, listen. Those people at the next table are speaking Spanish. It is surprising to hear Spanish speakers in Istanbul. I want to ask them where they are from. They look very nice. They are talking and laughing just like us. Is it okay to talk to them?、Uh, I think so. I speak English and Spanish, so I can talk to them easily in either language. Oh yeah, I forgot. You always speak English with us. Let's see if you'll need to speak Spanish or English. Let me see. Hi, my name is Alexi. And I live here in Istanbul. I'm from Greece. My friends at the table and I were talking about languages. Where are you from, Alexi? It's nice to meet you. My name is Diego, and I'm from Venezuela. My father works here in Istanbul, and I go to school at Bosphorus University. These are my cousins, Esteban and Gloria. It's nice to meet you both. Oops. Um, Diego. Do your cousins speak English? <laughs> no, they don't speak any English. They only speak Spanish. This is their first day in Istanbul. Oh, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Mucho gusto. What happened? We heard you laughing. 
Well, they were very nice. Diego speaks Spanish and English. His cousins only speak Spanish. I was able to speak with all three of them. They're very nice and very happy to be visiting Istanbul.